And we're back after three years off the air. We're going to start off the new season with a special excerpt from my 2013 interview with Barry Chase. Then we're going to have some discussion of our brand new social media presence on Instagram. We're going to talk about the plans for the rest of the season. Then we'll finish up with discussion of a new special segment for viewers like you. I'm Price T. Morgan, and you're watching WCAST. It's a man. It's a man. Alrighty, folks, so we have so much to get to today because we've been off the air for three years. Uh, the first thing I want to do is, uh, if you are maybe tuning in for the first time or you're, you're maybe not so familiar with WCAST, I want to explain what we're all about. So WCAST is a web series tribute to this movie right here, Stanley Kramer's 1963 film, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Now this movie, uh, if you haven't seen it, please go watch it, then come back and watch WCAST. Uh, it's a great movie. You'll love it, I promise. Uh, for those of you who have seen it, you'll know that the plot's fairly simple. Uh, we, have, we have a bunch of people who are driving along, and they're on vacation, they're driving to Vegas, they're driving a load of furniture to Yuma, uh, wh whatever they're doing, uh, all of a sudden they, they're passed by this car that flies off a cliff, and, and they, they run down to try and help the driver, and as he's dying, he tells them that there's $350,000 buried in this box under this big W. Was buried under this, this box in this big W uh, down near the California-Mexico border. And so these people, not knowing what the big W is, they start searching for it. They're driving across California. They're chasing each other. It's very entertaining, but the plot's pretty slim. And the real entertainment value of the film comes from the comic interactions, the visual jokes, the, the car chases, and the, the immense number of famous actors and actresses who are in this movie. There are, I think, about 60 or more famous or, or at least, you know, well-known name actors in this film. You know, Spencer Tracy, Milton Berle, so Sid Caesar, uh, Mickey Rooney, Ethel Merman, the, the list goes on. And so, um, uh, this film's turning 53, actually, today. And uh, WCAST is a web series that's devoted to furthering the memory and, and, and showcasing the, uh, the memories of the people who worked on the film. So when I was in my, my earlier teen years, I interviewed people like Barry Chase, who plays the, uh, the dancing bikini girl uh, in, the, in the black bikini. And then uh, also Marvin Kaplan, who played the role of Irwin, who's one of the gas station attendants in the gas station that gets knocked down. And I also interviewed special effects coordinator Danny Lee, who did everything from driving the car off the cliff in the beginning to doing the whole ladder bit at the, uh, at the end, working on the, the swaying ladder. So... Um, uh, just a little preliminary note, these, interview, these interviews were done when I was 13, 14, 15 years old, so, so give a little leeway for unprofessionalism in the quality or the questions or, or whatever. Just be glad that <laughs> there was somebody who interviewed uh, these individuals uh, at, that, uh, at that time. Anyway, so I want to get this started off, all that out of the way. I started off with, uh, with the following question. Your character in the script is a married woman. And Mrs. Halliburton, your character's not explicitly named or explained in the film. So, uh, so were you aware of her background uh, at the time of the shooting? Yeah, there was a script, and I was referred to mm -hmm. as Mrs. Was it Halliburton? Halliburton. Yeah, I was referred to that way. Yeah. When the movie was filmed, you were featured in at least. Two more scenes than the current version retains, including one where you chase Dick Sean out of his house, and then he gets the car, and then you say, that was my husband's car. What do you remember about that scene? I remember that. I don't remember. What was the other one? I don't remember another one. Say two more. It's was, a... Well, there was one where I was dancing for with the psychedelic lights. Yes. That was cut out. I remember that. Is that what you're referring That's to? That's the one I'm referring to. Yeah. Somebody said they found that. They did, as a matter of fact. I was just looking at it last night. Really? I haven't seen it. You haven't seen that? Uh -uh. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's not the, since the you know, original. There are there are a few scenes in there on the the cuts disc uh -huh. that that includes you. That, but see the one with the with the beach house running out of the beach house. Right. What do you what do you remember about that scene? I don't remember a whole lot about it. Just that I you know that I ran out and I was yelling after him and uh, that he jumped into the car. I don't I, and that's I, I don't remember much about it to tell you the truth. I have a picture of it here for you. Uh, yeah, I, I've seen that picture. And, um, you know, I'm more than likely, Dixit did some kind of 
zany move in order to be photographed up in midair like this <laughs> entering the car. Mm -hmm. um, but you get so used to Dick doing those kind of things that they don't have a giant impact because I, I've been watching him all day long mm -hmm. doing things. And I'm trying to remember if I if we did it in two days or one day. I have a feeling that there was two days of shooting, but I wouldn't say At this location here? At this location. I'm not exactly sure. The only reason I feel that it was two days is because I distinctly remember one day having lunch in the, in the greens, the greens, where all the comedians showed up because they were going to shoot after lunch. So I got the feeling that maybe we did just something before lunch. Uh, but I think this whole scene went a whole day of shooting. I don't mm -hmm. think we could have done that just before lunch. Okay. But I'm, I'm guessing at that, but that's my feeling. But I distinctly remember <laughs> sitting, having my lunch, watching one after the other after the other of the whole cast Coming come in. in there. Yeah. Because I was completely isolated from, from the cast. Mm -hmm. With your part, just in just, just in these part. one scenes. Yeah, and then Terry Thomas made a big pass. He was he was always after the way he was running and all the time. Tell me more about that. Oh well, I, I didn't know that was his reputation when he came over. And he's so funny with the tooth. He was, and I had seen him. I knew about Terry Thomas almost before Hollywood did because I used to go to all the English movies and stuff. The kitchen, kitchen, what do they call them? Kitchen something movies. And so uh, you know Peter Sellers all of them, and. Anyway, so I was totally aware of who, who he was, and uh, so he came over and he started talking to me, and he's just like, like he is on the screen, you know, and found it kind of funny, and he kept saying, I'd like to take you to dinner. And I'm like, oh, no, no, thank you very much, but no, I don't think so, you know, and, and then he kept it up and kept it up. He wasn't going to take no for an answer, and I finally just said, no, no, stop being silly, stop this, I'm not going to go to dinner with you. And then somebody said to me after, I said, what's with Terry Thomas? And they said, oh, he loves women, he's always out. he's always running out. That's a great story. And that about wraps things up for today, but before you go, let me quickly tell you about a new segment that I have planned. So it's going to be called The Mad, 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 Mad Mailbag, and here's how it works. You can email me at wcast at gmail.com with any question about this movie it can be cars, actors, vehicles, or cars or vehicles, okay. Uh, anything that you find pertinent to the movie or, or to the discussion, please send me that question to uh, wcast at gmail.com and I'll endeavor to get it answered for you. If I don't know the answer, I'll ask an expert uh, on that topic and uh, we'll get that answered for you so we can have uh, some interaction at the end of the program, at the end of the month in the mad, 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 mad mailbag. Uh, second thing I want to tell you about. Instagram, WCast is now on Instagram. Just look up WCast and you will get access to a bunch of uh, never, before, never before seen photos that will also land on the WCast Facebook page. So make sure to like that as well. Finally, just the overall plan for the rest of the season. Uh, we're going to do, obviously, a lot of segments from the interviews, just like the, uh, the original version of WCast. But I also want to go into some stuff like location tours and scene analysis, and uh, I'll probably have some guests on for that as well. So there's a lot in store for the upcoming season. Look for WCAST on Sundays. We're just doing this Monday because it's the 53rd anniversary. But going forward, it's going to be Sundays. And I look forward to hearing from you guys in the mad, 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 mad mailbag, as well as, uh, as all future episodes of WCAST. I'm Price T. Morgan, and you're watching WCAST. <laughs>